Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to easily benchmark restart time or reboot time in Windows 10 or 11. If you didn't know, there's a lot of ways to tweak your computer, but one of the big ones is your problems start when you start or restart your computer because all the stuff that runs in startup can slow down your computer, then they sit in memory and they use CPU usually. So everything you run in startup becomes a burden all the time when your computer is running. So we're going to get this script. It's really easy to do for any skill level. Look for the eye over here in the video to jump through to this page or check the video description down below. Expand it. Download benchmark restart time. Download now. File will come down in a couple of seconds. And it's really easy to use from there. Let's see here. Here's the file. What you're going to have. And all you got to do is double click it. Make sure you stop here and close any running applications. You might even want to close this stuff over here and start up. And of course, if possible, do a little work on your startup before you do it. And then you can compare as you start to remove stuff how much better your computer boots and runs. Go ahead and click on OK. And now we're going to sit here. Now, one thing of note while we're rebooting, somewhere on a minute, minute and a half on my virtual machine, a little slower than my actual desktop is you won't see the window right away and the reason being is when it benchmarks your restart time it's actually not going to show you the restart time until Windows is fully usable so this is not starting Windows the splash screen not starting Windows when you see your desktop Windows has still not started anybody who's done this before knows in the bottom right hand corner you can see your desktop but you start to see those little icons pop up a little at a time and we'll show you that right now. So, for example, all the services you don't even see are, are loading up. Windows stuff over here. See, they keep popping up. So it's not considered, quote, unquote, usable. So you haven't booted until I can click something. Did I say clock? Click something. Now, as you can see, once your Windows is usable, I have a 62-second time to restart. So that's pretty neat. And again, you can start playing around with different things. Try and tweak your startup so you can speed up. And a little bit of time is a lot of time. Don't forget that. That's kind of a big deal. So you might be thinking, well, let me see if I can get this page back up. Hold on a second. You might be thinking, well, one little thing and my computer started two seconds faster. It's not a big deal. Well, it kind of is. So only because as I explained things do speed up as you go so you can use C cleaner you can use I think Windows 11 let me see if I can find it they keep moving stuff around on me there you go startup apps so start typing in startup in search Windows key plus s a very simple way for anybody to do it you see Cortana is on if you don't use it take it off anything you don't use here this is the Windows stuff take it off of course security notifications some of the main Microsoft stuff you want to and again this is a fairly clean and solid window so you're going to see more stuff so you might be surprised what's running on startup and you don't know it so a couple of these things maybe you see cleaner there's a couple other things you can play with depending on how you want to do it and get the startup stuff off as you can see it take you about a minute to reboot every time of course if you have an older hard drive it might be a couple minutes two three minutes and get that startup time down and overall your computer will run better easy right there you have it, bottom right hand corner, you can click subscribe, click like if we helped you out, and thanks for watching as always. See ya.